guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. I uh, wanted to make a real quick video uh, to show you guys how you can test the water pump on a BMW that has the electric water pump. This is a 2007 uh, 525i. Uh, so you can start by removing the cap here on the pulling tank. Make sure that the engine is completely cooled off before you remove this cap. And if you look inside, uh, right over to the side, you're gonna see a little hole. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the vehicle up and we're gonna check for the water squirting out of that hole. If you have a good pump, you're gonna have a nice uh, solid stream of water coming through. If you have a weak pump, you'll notice that either it's not coming out at all or it's gonna be coming out in splurts or pulses. So let's go ahead and start the vehicle. Start it. Okay, started the vehicle. Now we'll look inside the hole here. Now you see that stream of water? Notice that this is a nice solid stream of water. That's a good, strong, solid stream of water indicating that this is a good pump. And actually we just replaced the water pump on this. I'll show you this is the old unit. Not this. This is the old unit right here. We also replaced the thermostat uh, while we were at it. So this is what a good water pump should look like. A nice solid stream of water. Again, if you see that that water's coming like it's stopping and going, stopping and going, or it's just not squirting at all, then you may have a bad water pump. And while we're on the subject, I wanna go ahead and uh, show you how to bleed the cooling system. Like I said, we just replaced the water pump. Uh, anytime you do any work on the cooling system where you open it up, you're gonna introduce air into the cooling system, so you're gonna need to bleed that air out. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and put the key in. Put the key in the slot here. And then we're gonna push the button just so that the lights come on on the instrument cluster. Uh, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and turn the heat all the way up so that we can open up the, uh, the heater valve. That way we bleed the entire system. And then you're just gonna go ahead and push on the accelerator pedal and hold it down for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now this should go ahead and activate the bleeding cycle. We're gonna go underneath the hood. All right, so we're underneath the hood. You should remove this cap. Again, make sure that the engine is completely cooled off when you do this. And again, you'll see the water pump activated. The engine is not running right now, but the water pump is activated. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna cycle on for 20 seconds, cycle off for 20 seconds, and then it's gonna keep doing that. Uh, and what you wanna watch for is air pockets or air bubbles coming out. So you'll see when it first squirts out, uh, Right now, we've already bled most of the air out of the system, so you probably won't see any air bubbles, but that's what you're gonna be looking for is for air pockets or air bubbles to be shooting out. And uh, let that run for a few minutes, then a uh, cooling system should be bled, and you should be good to go. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like the video, please hit like. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. Thanks for watching.